here comes the Denver offense set to take over for the first time. They'll be led out by a young man who's making a name for himself, their rookie quarterback. These preseason games, Mike, they can be a little bit tricky for so many guys on the roster. It's just check the box. It's one more step to getting to the regular season. But for these young quarterbacks, you just can't place enough value on them how important these game reps are. Here for a young quarterback who's looking to prove his worth to potentially being the starting quarterback week one. How does he command the huddle? How does he manage a game-like atmosphere? Until you put him under the bright lights, you just don't know the answers to the questions. They'll work now on second and four. They'll run it for the first time with Kevontae Williams. And he's got it. First down. A pickup of four. I think this second down call, Mike, they were hoping that at worst they had themselves set up for a third down and short. But there's no need for third down. He was able to get enough on second, and they get a fresh set of downs. They'll come up here first and ten. Now they'll set up to throw. A throw complete to Tim Patrick. And they're going to get this all the way up close to the 40-yard line. We saw him throw it like that last year in Columbus. He's got his guys a first down. And really the key to this play was just how fast he was able to get through his progressions. His mind was able to process and go from one to two to three so quickly that he was able to get the ball to the right target on time. And I think so often those two things are different. Being open is one thing. Being open and getting the ball on time, that's what leads to success. And that's what we saw here. Here's a handoff to Williams. And he searches for for a gain of about five. He'll drop to throw. In trouble, and down he goes. The best thing they did here, Mike, is keep their rush lane integrity. What that means is you have to rush the quarterback as a unit. Keep him in the pocket. Keep him on that X. And when you do, man, he becomes a sit and duck for this pass rush. That's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by Andrew Cooper. And he's going to give his offense a short field to work with as they look for their first points of the game. I think you chalk this one up, Mike, to just a rookie mistake. And anytime you have a young signal caller behind center, you're going to have to deal with some of these ups and downs. Every once in a while, they're just not going to see the coverage. They're going to get baited into making a bad throw. That's kind of par for the course. The key is how fast can these rookie quarterbacks turn the page, move on, and not make the same mistake again. Here comes the Denver offense set to take over for the first time. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and ten. to throw here to begin the drop. Got a man over the middle. There's Sutton. And he is short of the goal line, but they are in business at the one-yard line. A big play to kick off this drop. A gain of 69 yards. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. So the big play gets them down close. And now it's first and goal. Go. They'll run. It's Williams. And he will not get in from there. In fact, I think he was shoved backwards a little bit. Brings up second and goal at the four-yard line. So we are through one on Sunday Night Football. 3-0 is our score.
Greg and I back in Denver in just a moment. Now back at the four for second and goal. He'll look to throw. He's got his man, middle of the end zone. Portland Sutton, touchdown Denver. Tight spaces down there, things happen quick. Greg, a quick decision and great execution for the score. You're exactly right, Mike. Down here this close to the goal line, everybody's clock has to speed up. Not only the quarterback processing to get the ball out of his hand, but you have to win as a receiver quickly and give the quarterback somewhere to go with the ball. It was that quick. The Broncos offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. The lead sits at four. So they'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. Drive begins with a run by Williams. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. You could just see the frustration on the running back's face as he's getting helped up off the ground. Like, there was just nowhere to go from the moment he was handed the ball. Give credit to the defense. Great job. Looking to throw here on second and ten. That's going to be caught. It's Marvin Mims. And nice work there after the catch. He's a little short of the first down after a gain of seven. They'll come up to third and three. They'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. The most important stat, Mike, to determine wins and losses in the NFL is clearly turnover differential. Your ability to protect the ball and on defense, take the ball away. And for any offense, that's even more critical when you have the ball on your side of the field. The Broncos offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. They'll start out first down and 10. There we go, set, set, go. They'll start this on the ground. It's Williams. Not much there, maybe a yard. Here's second and nine. Come on, come on, set. Blitz coming, he'll throw it. The pressure gets there, and down he goes. A sack. So after picking up some positive yardage on first down, they end up going backwards on second. That sack now brings up third and long, and but most of the time is a very pass-happy situation, makes them very one-dimensional. Third and long. Let's go. Back to throw. He finds Mims. It's complete. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield. What a letdown for the defense. They allow a conversion on third and 16. First and 10. Let's go now. Go. Here comes the blitz as he looks to throw. A hit as he throws there. It's going to wind up incomplete. The pressure got to him that time, and it'll set up second down. You know, it's hard to speculate, Mike. We sit up here and we try to just interpret and assume what's going on in the minds of the players and the minds of the coaches, but 
they seem to me to be a little bit rattled. All these negative plays have really started to pile up in the first half. He's got to settle down, have some more efficiency on these early downs, and get his offense into some sort of rhythm. Portland Sutton, the intended receiver, and third down coming up. He was looking for Marvin Mims there. And that's going to lead to a fourth down. Haven't even reached halftime yet. And we see this quarterback just continue to put the ball in harm's way and make bad decisions. He's lucky it didn't add another interception to his stat sheet. And as they approach halftime here, they got to regroup. And he's going to have to make the better decisions here in the second half. Marco's offense and their quarterback coming out for drive number two. Their lead is just a point as they begin it on this drive with first and ten. Shut up. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. He's got the tight end. That's Greg Dulcich. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. First time they've looked his way tonight. Good time to do it. It's a first down. remaining in this second quarter. There's a reason certain guys, Mike, just always seem to be open. It's really because route running is more art than it is science. How do you manipulate the defense to find open spots or win versus man to create separation and earn the trust of your quarterback? a win for the Broncos as they move to 2-0 in this preseason getting that second win here in week two 